to another episode of 3d boxing podcast it is good to be back um big fight weekend uh we have lomachenko and and lopez tv lopez finally this week uh we're gonna get to that later in the week and and do a prediction show on that but uh for today i want to just do a quick update on the canelo alvarez the zone golden boy lawsuit um there's a lot of misinformation a lot of confusion i should say a lot of confusion um it's not that complicated i um I attempted to explain it um, on MCR podcast with Matt the Hipster Hunter yesterday. If you go to MCR uh, Mixed Combat Radio, um, you you can check that out. But I'm gonna I'm gonna get, try to give it a breakdown again. Um, it's 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 been made more confusing than it is because there's three parties, right? There's Golden Boy, there's the Zone, and there's Canelo, and there's one lawsuit, and then there's another separate lawsuit. Um, and I'll try to explain the reason for that. Um, if you have any questions, if I don't do such a good job of explaining why this is happening, then leave me questions and I'll, I'll try to respond, okay? Canelo has a lawsuit with DAZN. We're going to start there. It's in federal court. DAZN is trying to get it thrown out of federal court and put into state court. Now, the federal court um, is in California. Uh, it's the southern, the central district of California. That is a federal court. Okay, it's decided by federally appointed judges. The reason why they want to get it thrown, the zone wants to get it thrown out of federal court is the law is that any uh, lawsuit with two foreign entities, foreign entities meaning uh, anyone outside of the United States, can't go to federal court, has to go through the state system. Okay. Canelo Alvarez obviously lives U.S. residents. Okay, does that make sense? He has a he, he lives in Mexico. He's a Mexican citizen. He has a house and a residency that he stays part time in San Diego. His judges were hoping that's good enough to make him an American entity. Doesn't look like it's going to be. The other half of that, why does it get so confusion, is the zone. The zone USA slash North America is based in New York, which is why it would go to a New York court if it had to go through the state system. Okay. Um, uh, the zone itself is based in the UK, right? The zone international, the zone. Um, is, is based in the UK. Its division, the Zone USA, um, the Zone North America, is based in the is it based in New York in the United States. So now the decision is: is the Zone a U.S. entity? If it is, it goes to federal court. If it's not, it has to go to state court. Okay, the Zone wants to get it thrown out of the federal court and put it into the state court. Gold, uh, ask. Blah, 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 blah. Canelo wants it in federal court. Canelo's lawyers want it in federal court. There's an Obama appointed the judge. I don't know anything about the judge, but they seem to want it there. The zone doesn't. The zone wants it in the state court, which is in New York. There's no judge appointed there. They, they want to get it thrown out. It hasn't been thrown out. If it gets thrown out, it will go to the state court in New York, which is likely what the zone wants. Second, um, there's a, a, a contingency where any disputes are supposed to go to arbitration. So. The zone wants to go to arbitration, allegedly. Canelo's side is saying that they're dragging their feet and not going to arbitration, so we have obstruction. Uh, The obstruction is they're not going to court. They're dragging their feet. That's a part of the lawsuit. That's a part of the $280 million lawsuit is, is that there's obstruction and they're not actually going to 
the arbitration. You know, they're saying, no, no, if there's no no dispute. We'll settle. We'll take care of it. We'll we'll hash it out. And Oscar's saying, no, no, we've tried. I mean, Oscar Canelo is saying, no, no, we've tried that. It hasn't worked. It's not happening. Um, and now they're holding up the entire case. They're holding up my career. Now we have to go to court. They're not going to arbitration. The third factor is that there's two lawsuits filed separately. Okay, one against the zone and Golden Boy, and another against Golden Boy. Now, the reason for that is because Golden Boy is a U.S. entity, period, paragraph. There is no discussion. There is no debate. It's based in California. The two uh, principals involved are Oscar De La Hoya of California, and Bernard Hopkins, who lives in Delaware, uh, both U.S. citizens, uh, company based in California. There is no dispute. There's no ands, ifs, or maybes about that. The zone is a federal entity, is a U.S. entity. That means it's going to federal court, period. Now. If they didn't file them separately, they could get the whole thing thrown out. Uh, you know what I'm saying? If they put if they put the zone and gold uh, and golden boy on the same lawsuit, they could get it thrown out. Now what they did is file two separate ones. So the golden boy uh, lawsuit has to go to the federal court. There's no way around that. The only question is, does the, the zone lawsuit get thrown out? And go to the state court. And again, I, I want to, with that verb, it's thrown out. Doesn't mean dismissed. It doesn't mean the zone wins the lawsuit. It just means it goes to the state court, which is kind of what they want instead of the federal court. I, I don't know how that works. I'm not a legal scholar. I'm just explaining how the court system works. You know, there's a there's federal court cases and state court cases. Um, and ahead of that, there's there's arbitration. Now, hopefully. For the sake of boxing, for the sake of boxing fans, um, this gets settled in arbitration. I think we're going to go to arbitration. I think the zone, the zone does not want this to go to that federal court for whatever reason. Again, I don't know the judge. I don't know it really their cases that you know they don't want this going to federal court. It looks like if I had to guess, I, I'd say it's not going to get thrown out. Of, I, I'm going to say that the California, uh, I'm sorry, the federal court rules that the zone is the zone USA slash North America is a uh, domestic entity, therefore they can have it in federal court. Um, I, I don't know if I agree or disagree with that. It really is irrelevant. Well, you know what I think. I'm just telling you that's that's the state of it. Um, so the case is not going to get dismissed totally, not at least off of this. I mean, I I, I don't again, I don't know the, the substance of the case. It seems like Canelo has a case. You know, I I know DeZone and Golden Boy are going to have their arguments in their case of the it's a pandemic. There's a sides, there's premier fights, there's this, that, and a third, and, and that's for the legal system to hash out. That's not for me to hash out. Um, so th there's basically three parts to it, and, and I'll just recap it really quickly. First, Canelo is suing Golden Boy and his own, and then he's just suing Golden Boy. That's going to federal court no matter what. The, the Golden Boy lawsuit goes to federal court no matter what. The, the zone lawsuit is the tricky one. The, the zone lawsuit may go to federal court may go to um, state court. It all depends on the judges in the federal court decide whether or not the zone USA, North America, is a foreign or domestic entity. It's domestic entity goes to federal court. Foreign entity goes to the state court in New York. The case is supposed to go to arbitration in all areas of dispute. Um, Canelo is claiming that they're obstructing that process and not going to arbitration, claiming that there is no dispute and that they're going to get it settled. He's saying we're not settling this. This has to go to this has to go to arbitration. And they're and he's claiming this is what they're claiming. Um, this the zone is, is refusing to settle this in a timely manner. The zone is saying there's no reason to go to arbitration. We can settle this. We can hash this out. If we need to go to arbitration, we will. It's what it seems like. You know, it, it, it's you know, it's like when you give an argument and one side says there's no problem, and the other side says there is a problem. That's kind of where we're at now. I don't think the zone really wants to go through with this because they're going to have to show up money and they just want to play the waiting game. They want the pandemic to pass, I would think, and get Canelo back in the ring in a big time fight. You know, um, you know, the zone is obviously losing money in this process with during the pandemic. Um, now they're selling out legal fees. I mean, I think they just want to put Canelo in the ring in a big time fight and, and start making money again. And Canelo wants to make money, obviously. It's just a matter of the quickest way. I believe the quickest way would be to go to arbitration, get a binding agreement. Well, I don't know if any of y'all have been through the legal system. You go to a mediator's proposal or arbitration. I'm not saying the rule is going to be perfect. 
normally, typically, in my experience, it's reasonable, right? It, it might favor one side or the other, but it's not completely unreasonable. It's not ridiculously biased. It, it, that's my in my limited. That's anecdotal. That's just my limited experience. I, I I think that's the way to go. I don't think that Golden Boy. I mean, I don't think the Zone wants this to go to the legal. Uh, go to the federal court for whatever reason. Um, so I think if it looks like it's not going to get thrown out of the federal court, they're going to have to really go through arbitration. I, I don't know if they can get a read of that. I don't know the lawyer that represents the zone. You know, I don't know the judge. If it looks like that they're, they're not, you know, historically or there's case precedents that this is not going to get thrown out. If, you know, if they can find cases where, you know, this did get thrown out and put to a state court, I, I think they may go through with it. It depends on whether or not this case goes to federal or state court. It goes to federal court, um, they're gonna they're gonna look to settle. They're gonna look to go to arbitration. It goes to state court. This may be a process. Um, let me know what you guys think. Please let me know if that made sense. If you have any questions about that, if I made it more confusing, less confusing, please let me know. Uh, put comments at the bottom. I will try to recap. I'll do another video on this. Uh, we have another video. I'll do another video on this as more details come out. I think I have a pretty good grasp of it, even though I probably didn't explain it perfectly there. Um, I, I hope that cleared it up a little bit. If not, please leave questions, comments. I will I will try to respond to them the best that I can. Um, we're going to do another video later this week uh, in regards to Lomachenko Lopez fight, the impact of that fight. Uh, make sure to check out my boy Kendo Castaneda, who will be fighting on that card uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.